right, so today is going to be part two in doing some polishing and cleaning. I'm um, going to start working on the swim platform and hopefully I can get some good videos for you guys. I'm going to be using the Makita here. Not sure which pad I'm going to be using, probably this um, Lake Country cutting pad. And again, using the Makita. I haven't used this in a while. And I'll be using some uh, Buff Magic, which I've used years ago. I don't have it right now, but you use a brush to, to brush that on. Once we're done, and then of course I'm going to be using this guy, which I'm trying out for the first time to scuff up my pads in between so I can start saving some of my pads when they get packed up with compound and polish. Then I'm going to go over it with Pro Polish from Surehold using my Orbital Porter Cable with a uh, Surehold 6.5 inch brush, this guy right here. And I'll put links below to these things. So hang in there. If you like this video, like it with the button below, of course. Subscribe. Um, I don't make any money off all this or any of this. Just enjoy doing it because a lot of good people have helped me and I want to help you guys out. So hope you enjoy this. More to come as I get started. Thanks. So here's the before. It's really not bad. Um, transom still looks nice from the polish a couple weeks ago. I guess last weekend. And... There's the swim platform. I'm going to start over here on the port side. It's not bad. I've been doing a lot of scrubbing on it ahead of time. A little bit of buffing on it last two times I was here. So that's before I get started. When you know there's a bird turd there, the, the swallows or whatever they're called are back. You can see them flying around. They like to make nest under the dock and also up there in the roof. Um, while I got you, I'll show you what I do here. It seems to be working pretty well for the swallows, keeping them off the boat. This guy right here, if you can see, it's a fishing line. And I have it wrapped all the way around the boat. Looks like they're doing some pooping on the foredeck, but not too bad on the, on the top side so far. We'll see. Second year at this marina. Love the marina. Don't love the birds. Don't love the shallow water. So more to come as I get started. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoy this. All right, so hopefully you can see me. Here I come. A bit of a challenge to record by yourself, especially when you're bouncing back and forth, and hopefully the phone doesn't fall in the water. So, Buff Magic. I used this stuff years ago on my 330 and had pretty good success with it. So, I'm going to try it now. What you do, hopefully you can see me. Get yourself a brush. Turn around. We'll do those on there and do that. Why you do next? That's what you to do.
you folks. Hang in there. All right, so we've done the compounding with the Makita and Buff Magic. A couple wet spots there still drying because I washed it off. Um, I think it looks good. You know, I, I, I'm my own worst critic, but so far so good, I think. Getting ready to put the Sure Hold polish on it. That would be my apple that I just ate. Hopefully the catfish will get it. But yeah, I think it's going well. Um, it looks white from here and when you're working on it, it doesn't look white when you're down on your hands and knees. Oh, by the way, wear pants for this project because you will bloody up your knees. Last weekend when I came here, I was fighting blood on the darn uh, non-skid. So wear or some knee pads as well. Might do the trick. So there she is. I'm going to do step, I guess, three. The wash was step one. Compounded, washed again. And now I'm going to put the polish on. All right. Uh, hang in there with me, guys. All right. So I'm done with the buff magic. Hit it afterwards with some deck cleaner, which I'm, I kind of like this stuff. I think it does a nice job. You splash it on. I use a stiff brush, scrub it pretty good. And then I let it sit. I think it's three minutes or so, then you wash it off. So I've done that. Um, you know, it's not bad. It's clean. I think if I spent hours and hours on it again, more time I could get it better, but it's good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sure Hold Stiff Brush with the Orbital. I mean, there's some spots right here. If you look really close, you can see there's still some yellow in there. But that doesn't bother me. Well, it does bother me. It's just not a priority right now, and I'm tired. Um, this, to me, was the first time actually ever doing a swim platform. So, again, products that I use. Let me get back on the boat, and hopefully I don't fall in. You can see the pads. I went through two of those. The other one's upside down. So, you can see the grime that was in there. Um, I don't have them with me right now, but yeah, get some close-ups here for you. I'm going to put the Surehold polish on. I'm not expecting that to put any more of a shine on it, more protection. And when I washed it down, there was definitely beading, even just from the, the Buff Magic. Um, I'm going to get some more up close for you. I wish I would have done it better before. It is wider. I can definitely see that it's wider. What I'll share with you as well is be careful with metal like this. When I hit it with the Makata, it picked up a lot of black and I had to keep kind of cleaning my pads. So I would recommend staying away from those and do those by hand. Uh, even those guys, the old Dabbits that I've never used, but someone put on this boat before me. And that's what that's for as well. Of course, that's for a grill that I don't have. So all this was already on here. I don't use this stuff. If it was me, I would have torn it off and never put it on. But again, if you've got anything like this on your swim platform, be careful because when you hit it, it's going to going to do that uh, which just makes a mess and then next thing you know you're putting that black all over the non-skid so a good project not easy again wear uh, long pants or knee pads I was blooding up a little bit last time I did this and you know, I'm constantly wiping up the blood and cleaning off the blood because um, this is non-skid and it's rough on the knees all right thanks guys I really hope this was helpful uh, products used again were buff magic um, I think that's made by Surehold, and used the Makita polisher for that, and then I used a coat of uh, a polish from Surehold, I forget what it's called, with the Surehold stiff brush. And I did a lot of heavy wiping down in between with my, you know, putting a lot of pressure to get the grime out. So not perfect, but pretty darn good. I hope this helps you out. All right, bye. So I'm going to take back what I said. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a darn nice shine on that swim platform. And that, that wasn't even my goal. To me, the swim platform is like a doormat where you get your feet dirty and get on and off the boat. I just wanted to get it good and clean, but it turns out pretty darn nice shine on there. I'll try to get some shots for you so you can see it. So, yeah. Now I can say for the first time ever, I want to fall in here. I'm kind of walking out slow. But I've got a swim platform that, uh, that shines. So, good deal.